Hi there guys, my name is Lex and this is Tech Talk PH. At akalain mo nga naman napakabilis ng panahon. Ilang araw na lang at Pasko na. So yun, excited na ba kayo? Kasi ako, hindi ako excited magpasko ngayon taon. And of course guys, sa lahat ng subscribers natin, thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. And of course guys, medyo ingat tayo at medyo isipin natin mabuti yung mga gagastusin natin ngayon December kasi napakahirap kumita ng pera ngayong pandemic. Yes, sa mga hindi pa nagsasubscribe, please do consider in subscribing to this channel by clicking that subscribe button and notifications bell for you to get updated for the future videos that I'll be uploading here on YouTube. Just before we start guys, gusto ko lang magpasalamat no, dahil na-reach na natin finally yung 3,000 mark uh, dito sa Tech Talk PH channel. Maraming maraming salamat sa lahat sa inyo sa patuloy na suporta and of course kapag na-hit ko yung 10,000 subscribers I'll make it sure na magkakaroon ako ng giveaway. So tulungan niyo ako patuloy niyo akong tulungan para maabot yung pangarap ko na yun. Special shoutout lang sa mga bago nating subscribers Unang-una na dyan ay si Glory Yeshua uh, all the way from Davao City. Thank you so much for subscribing. And dito rin si Muhammad Di Makuta. So, I don't know. Uh, foreigner ka ba? Or is this a Muslim name? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Uh. Hindi ko kasi alam eh. Pero yun nga. Hello sa iyo. Thank you so much for subscribing. And lastly, of course, kakalibutan ko ba naman? Si Junjun. Si Junjun na walang malay. Of course. Uh, alam ko naman Junjun na nainip na inip ka na. At... <laughs> At tindig na tindig ka na rin. Ang huwag ka Pero ng vaccine. So, makakaraos din tayo. Tanda. Ako din, excited na excited na ako. So, chill ka lang dyan, Jun Jun. Okay? And lastly, gusto ko lang mag-sorry, no? Kasi yun nga, ang tagal kong hindi nakapag-upload. But yung kasunod na videos neto, eh, about na dun sa A53. So, tatapusin na natin. Kahit na onti na lang yung na-retrieve kong files, no? From uh, from the pictures. Wala akong video na na-retrieve na talaga totally. And sa games, Wild Drift lang din yung meron ako. As promised, isi-share ko pa rin sa inyo yung ito taong nag experience ko while using the OPPO A53 and hin alam ko naiinis ka na kasi kanina pa kwento ng kwento pero yun nga hindi ko na ito patatagalin pa dahil ito ang Infinix Hot 10 Unboxing and First Impressions Buksan na natin There you go. Here's the phone. Babatiin niya ta agad tayo pagkaalis ng cover. So, I'll be setting this aside. And as you can see, yung, yung nakuha kong color, guys, is hawig na hawig sa color ni Tecno Pova. It is pretty obvious na ito yung pantapat ni Infinix kay Tecno Pova no, when it comes to specs and the price. Dahil meron lang naman silang 500 pesos na price difference. And titignan natin yan kung may hustisya ba yung 500 pesos price increase Infinix as compared to Tecno, malalaman natin yan sa review natin. So, I'll be setting this aside for now. And then, titignan natin kung ano pa ba yung ibang laman ng box. So, andito is an Infinix card, which tells us... Okay, so meron tayong limited time drop card dito na bigay ni Infinix, no? So, all you need to do is to actually to redeem this card on your PUBG Mobile account and you'll be able to get freebies. Uh, at nasa likod naman nun, guys, is, of course, uh, the customer service card right here. Ayan. And dito na ating usable jacket. I'll be setting the rest of the box first so we can focus on this one. And nasa likod nyo, guys, nandito yung SIM ejector tool. And nasa loob naman, andito ang Libreng film screen protector, so hindi siya tempered glass. What else do we have here? Uh, the X Club card right there. Alam nyo na ako para saan yan. And then, here's the warranty card. Siyempre, hindi dapat yan mawala. At wag na wag ninyong iwawala yan, siyempre. And lastly, a free silicone case right here. There's nothing else more. And ano pa ba yung mga accessories na natira dito sa box and nandito of course yung charging brick na naman charging brick which is a 2 amperes charger thank you so much Infinix for including the charging brick and then we have here a 3.5 mm headphone and lastly meron tayo dito micro USB charging cable so that's pretty much it so, ayan, ito na yung phone guys and magkakaroon muna tayo ng quick body check. And as you can see here, merong pattern sa likod yung phone. It is a zigzag. And let's try to peel this off. 
just the first half of it for you guys to see how gorgeous the back of this phone looks <laughs> and the, the color of this phone guys is actually the moonlight jade it looks like lavender and ito naman ipipeel off na natin yung sticker dito sa front na phone there you go so ito na tayo sa body check pagdating sa taas guys wala namang kahit na ano dito malinis sa malinis pagdating naman sa right side ng device we can find here the power button and above it sits the volume rocker and sa left side naman ng device may kita natin dito is yung sim tray and at the bottom part of course may kita natin dito yung 3.5mm headphone jack a microphone the micro USB charging port and of course, the speaker grill. And yan, kung may kita natin guys, it's pretty obvious na meron tong quad camera setup sa likod. And of course, lastly, the fingerprint. So, ayun, may kita natin dito that the display of this phone is, is being protected by a glass pero hindi in-specify ni Infinix kung anong klaseng glass yung nilagay nila dito. Pero it's pretty obvious na yung frame neto and, and yung kanyang back cover is made out of plastic. Most especially guys, wala siyang IP rating. So, ingatan natin at wag na nating subukan ilublub sa tubig. So, ayan, ipapakita ko lang sa inyo guys that this phone supports two nano sims with a dedicated micro SD card slot and may kita natin dito may red trim dito sa kanyang sim tray uh, which means meron tong meron silang ginawang security measure to protect para hindi basta-basta mapapasok ng ng tubig no pero yun nga as a warning wag ninyo nang subukan dahil mabuvoid yung warranty nyo <laughs> Believe me guys. So while I'm setting up the device, go ahead and talk amongst yourselves. So yun guys, the setup ko na yung device and and etong Infinix Hot 10 ay meron tagline na taking game to the next level. So I don't know kung they are comparing this phone to the Hot 9 series no, which is the predecessor of this phone right here pero yun nga, if they are comparing this to Technopova, definitely um hands down sa Technopova pa rin ako kasi yun nga G80 na yung processor na noon eh. Ito naman G70 lang. Since the setup ko na yung device, uumpisa natin yan. Of course, sa biometrics, ang titignan natin kung reliable ba at mabilis ba yung biometrics na meron nitong phone na to. At sisimulan natin yan sa fingerprint. Kaya naman in 3, 2, 1. It's quite fast. Isa pa. In 3, 2, 1. Mabilis siya. Very instantaneous siya. And ngayon, dadako naman tayo sa face unlock. So, ayan. In 3, 2, 1. In 3, 2, 1. Mabilis siya. Last na. In 3, 2, 1. So, may kita nyo naman guys. Very reliable at mabilis talaga yung biometrics neto. Fingerprint man o face unlock ang gagamitin nyo. Hindi nga hindi ka neto bibiguin. And of course, sa pagsasarap ng fingerprint guys, there are 13 taps no, sa pag ano niya. So, medyo malas yung number. But then again, medyo mas mabilis itong isetup kaysa, kaysa dun sa ibang phones. Kasi ibang phones na naranasan ko before, 20 taps or 20 20 times mong ilalapat yung finger mo dito for you to register your fingerprint. This is actually way more easier and faster. So yan, dadako naman tayo ngayon sa main specifications ng Infinix Hot 10. At the front sits here the 6.78 inches IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 720 by 1640 pixels. So that is 264 pixels per inch screen density. And yung nakuha kong variant dito has 4 gigabytes of RAM with 128 gigabytes of internal storage. So that's pretty big. And it is actually bigger than that of the Techno Pova. So far, yun pa lang yung lamang na nakikita ko sa kanya. And as you can see here guys, may kita natin, nandito ulit yung DTS sound support system or yung sound enhancer. Uh, netong si Infinix, no? Pero... Uh, titignan natin talaga kung magiging maganda ba yung sound quality nito and meron dito incorporated na music party mode so alam nyo na yun multiple Infinix devices can play the same music all at the same time so pretty much alam nyo na yung ibig sabihin nun kasi hindi naman sila yung nauna dito eh. meron na yung LG nito before meron na yung Samsung nito before meron na rin yung Oppo and meron na rin of course yung Infinix ngayon uh, the Infinix Hot 10 is being powered by the Android 10 operating system with XOS Dolphin 7.0 skin on top of it so pagdating naman guys sa processor, may kita naman natin dito. It's pretty obvious. It is the Helio G70. So mas mababa siya ng one generation as compared to the Technopova na, na nirelease na nung mga nakaraang one. By the way, the Helio G70 is manufactured on a 12 nanometer process which is an octa-core CPU that is clocked at 2 GHz max. So yung GPU naman ito guys is yung Mali G52. 2EEMC2 So medyo mahaba yun So nabanggit ko na nga kanina guys That this phone has a quad camera setup Ito nga sa itaas ng quad LED flash guys Is actually a 2 megapixel macro lens And katabi niya dito 
is yung 2 megapixel depth sensor and then below it is the 16 megapixel main shooter and then lastly ito yung QVGA AI lens and this is the low light sensor as well pagdating sa camera specifications hawig na hawig din siya kay Techno Pova so titignan din natin kung magiging maganda ba or at least comparable yung pictures at video footages na makukuha natin using the Hot 10 by the way guys yung main sensor nito has face detection autofocus and then pagdating sa harap makikita nyo naman meron ditong punch hole no ayun siya so naging mata siya ng penguin this is an 8 megapixel shooter with f1.8 aperture stop. Supposedly, dapat maganda to in capturing low light pictures, no? Pero yun nga, titig ng parin natin yan sa real life usage. Kung mata translate ba yung specs yan ng maganda. So, both the front and the rear cameras are incapable of recording videos of up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. So, isa pang difference, guys, ng Techno Pova and ng Infinix Hot 10 is actually the battery. Infinix Hot 10 has 5,200 milliamp hours battery, while Techno Pova has 6,000 milliamp hours. So, pagdating doon, medyo malaki yung gap nung difference ng battery nila. Napabilib talaga ako ng Techno Pova kasi easily I can get uh, through the day with 7 hours screen on time, no? So, titignan natin kung kakayanin din ba ni Infinix Hot 10 yung ganong katagal na screen on time. So, yun guys, meron siyang power marathon technology. Yun yung supposedly mag -e help dito sa phone to last longer no? than your expectation. Pero yun nga, since in-house technology yun or yung si Infinix lang yung megawa at hindi pa ito natitesting niya sa ibang devices, yun yung titignan natin at, at aalamin natin kung magta-translate ba na maganda sa real world usage. At nabanggit ko na kanina yung color neto guys, this one is the Moonlight Jade which looks like lavender in person. No, medyo may pagka-bluish siya pagdating sa camera. Pero the other available colors of this phone are Obsidian Black, Amber Red, and Ocean Wave. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung Amber Red, guys, hindi siya available dito sa Pilipinas kasi, kasi available lang siya sa India. And, and lastly, matatapos ba yung video natin kung hindi ko sasabihin sa inyo kung magkano to. And yun nga, since ang sponsor ko ay isang gadget company rin na nagtitinda ng phones, sa Cyber Zone, yung pricing nila, yung sasabihin ko sa inyo. And the price of this phone is 6,990 pesos pagdating sa mga mall. Ganon din dapat sa online. And of course, since nagkakaroon ng sale ngayon, na, nakasale yata to ng 5,490 pesos. Hindi ko nga lang alam kung may makukuha ka pa kayo. Pero yun yung nakita kong sale price last time sa isang advertisement na nakita ko sa Facebook. And once again guys, this is the Infinix Hot 10. At dito na nagtatapos ang video natin for today. Thank you so much again for your time sa pagsama sa akin. Then again, my name is Lex. And see you on the next video. Peace!